Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Tech video. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how you can make an auto training speech command just like this. Keep in mind, all source code used in today's video are found in the description down below. Okay, so before we start, make sure you go into Baseplate if you already have a game, you can join there. And then once we load in, we're going to create a script inside of service script service. This script will allow us to make all of the system that handles when the command is ran and putting the chat bubbles above of your head. So let's head to service script service, let's click on plus, and then let's click on script. And for now, we can just call this something like chat commands underscore speech. Now we can start with the content of this script. First, we're going to have to import the chat service. This will allow us to simulate the chats that we're going to put above the player's head. So let's say local chat service equals game get service chat. Next, we're going to define our speeches. So we can do this by saying local messages equal, and then we're going to use our squiggly brackets, and this will allow us to make multiple speeches. So let's say we have a script for team one. So we're going to use our square brackets, then we're going to make a string, and then in here we're going to put 1. Now we're going to move to the right, we're going to say equals, and then once again we're going to use those squiggly brackets. Then drop a line, and then in here we can put all the text we want for our speech. So each string is going to be a message. So let's say hello, then when we put a comma and drop a line, this will be a new chat bubble. How are you doing today? Then let's put another comma, and then let's just say, thank you, I'm good. This would have a chat bubble that would say hello, then a new chat bubble, which would say, how are you doing today? And then another new chat bubble, which would say, thank you, I'm good. Now let's say we want another speech. Let's say we want this speech for team two. So to do this, we can say square brackets, string two equals squiggly brackets, drop a line, and then once again, the same principle applies, so let's just say, how is everyone today? Today it is Halloween. And then, can we get emojis? Yes, we can. Pumpkin. Okay, so you may see some red here, which means there's an error. And as you can see, I forgot to put a comma. So keep in mind, each speech will have to have a comma after the end squiggly bracket. And now what we can do is we can essentially have an infinite amount of speeches. So if you'd like a third speech, for example, you can just put a comma after two, and then we can paste in another speech, make sure it's not the same name, so this should be three, and then so on and so on, and we can repeat it. For now, I'm just gonna have these two speeches so it's easier to follow. The next variable we're going to set is going to tell the script the starting command. So what we need to do is we need to say local command equals and here's where your start command is going to be. So personally, I have it at slash start speech, but you could have yours at exclamation start or another command of your choice. For now, I'm going to say slash start speech and make sure you have no spaces and it's just one word. And then we're going to say local rank ID equals. And now make sure you follow my tutorial on understanding the minimum rank and the group ID there'll be a banner in the top right leading you to that video right now. But for now, I'm just going to set this to zero and to zero, and this means anybody can use the speech command. Next, we're gonna drop a line, and this is going to be the part of the script that detects when a player joins, detect if they have the appropriate rank, and then detect when they chat. So as I said before, we need to detect when the player joins. We can do this by saying added connect function and then in here we're going to put in the player and this means when somebody joins is going to pass us the player now we need to check if the player has an appropriate rank in the group to be able to use this command so let's say if player get rank in group and then inside of these brackets we're going to put the group id which we defined above is bigger all equals to rank id then and then this is going to check if the player has an appropriate rank and if they do we need to check when they chat and if they chat if that's the appropriate command what we need to say is player dot chatted connect function 
and then we're going to put the brackets and we're going to say message. This will allow us to get the message. And then finally, we need to do some split stringing. So each time somebody runs the command, they need to define what speech they're doing. So for example, that could be speech one or speech two. And of course, we can't just look at one word. So we need to split the string. So before we even check if they're running the correct command, we need to split the string. So let's just set a variable for this, local split string equals, and then say string dot split message. That's the message we defined above. Make sure you're not doing messages. Let's just copy it from here. Then comma, and now we're gonna say what splits the strings. And we want it to be a space. So all we need to do is make a string and then make a space. And then this is splitting a sentence by its spaces. Now once we've done that, we need to check if the first part of the string is the command. And we can do that by saying if split string square brackets one equals equals command then once we've done all of that we need to say local message underscore set equal messages so those are the messages we defined above so for example one and two and then we need to say square brackets split string square brackets two so inside of messages, it's looking at these one and two, so let's just close it down, is looking at one and two, and then it's going to our split string and getting the second part of that string, and the second part of that string would be, for example, one or two, and then it's finding one or two inside of our table here. Now that we've got the messages set, it's going to return all the data from either one, two, or whatever number you put in. Now we have to do just a little part of this script and this will be the part of the script that will loop through those messages and will send them. So we can say for i comma v in message set do chat service chat player dot character dot head comma v. So how this chat function works is it looks for the player's head this is the player that joined the game and that has run all of these commands and then it pastes the content so that would be either hello or how is everyone today and then it will make a chat bubble above their head so this simulates talking just like a normal player would then finally we need to make sure it doesn't go super fast so we can use the wait function for this and we can say wait hashtag v times by 0.15 so for every single letter, it'll wait 0.15 seconds. Of course, you can customize this if you want it to be longer or shorter, but personally, I think 0.15 works pretty well. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna publish it, we're gonna do all of that stuff we need to do, and now we're gonna test it. So let's click on play. And now that we're in, we can just close these plugins. And let's say we want to run speech one. Speech one is the one that says, hello, how are you doing today? Thank you, I'm good. So let's say slash start underscore. So let's say slash start underscore speech and then one. Hello, how are you doing today? And is that the end? I'm not quite sure. Thank you, I'm good. Okay, so there we have our basic speech working. Let's see if speech number two works. Slash start speech underscore two. How is everyone today? Today is Halloween, and then it should send the pumpkin. And there we go. So thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you have any questions about Roblox scripting, or you'd like to talk with the rest of the Cookie Tech community, be sure to join our forms. That's forms.thecookie.dev. Happy Halloween. That's all from me. Thank you for tuning in, and bye bye